WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. You've got the NASDAQ, NASDAQ Composite, trading to the upside, just slightly, six points for the NDX 100, basically flat, but all the other U.S. indices are trading lower. 311 points for the Dow, about nine-tenths of a percent. Pretty much flat for the S&P or two points, two points for the Russell. That's flat, two points for the semis. So not a huge show of disappointment to the downside. You've got the New York Stock Exchange off five points. It's very little considering it is completely overbought out there. Gold is up eight bucks. Silver down 23 cents. Lights recruit trade out 80.43, up 55 pennies. Natural gas up about 30 cents right now. And the 30-year Treasury is flat. But let's go take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left hand side. ES Mini today is likely going to form bar number seven of a TD nine count. That says there could be a top that forms between tomorrow, that would be Tuesday, and Thursday of this week. Price is above the top of its daily profile. You don't see it here, but it's above the top of its oscillator and change line. I think likely this goes on to make a TD nine count top. But we'll just have to wait to see. And what could get in the way of that? Well, that'd be that spot follow tunics. If we take a look at it, it's been rising for the last couple of trading sessions out there. So we have the spot follow tunics rising along with the S&P 500. That sets up, or the ES Mini, that sets up a divergence there. But the divergence needs some kind of topping pattern, which we do not have when we take a look at the daily ES. We'll do, do that during the Trader's Edge show. The NQ, basically a similar type pattern out here, although I believe that today would become bar number eight but um let's go check my math on that uh but price should continue to move higher we may get that td9 count top that would make sense u.s dollar index finding support so the u.s dollar index did break through a roads momentum indicator bottom pattern out there right now price is testing support that's the bottom of its daily profile and that's at the 101.86 the top of that profile is at 103.48 Goldilocks looks like it's on its way to the 1954 level. That is, unless there's a bearish reversal candle that would form, because that would then confirm the sell the D point pattern. Short of that, price should continue to move higher. The case of silver, not as strong as gold these days, because it does have its roads momentum indicator top. That resistance level established at 24.52. Price continues to find resistance there. Lights read crude right now, just dealing with the top of its daily profile. That's up at the price point of 80.50. If price can clear that, close above that, suggest a move to 80. 409. Natural gas having a bit of a bounce, but still finding resistance. And that's at the bottom of its daily profile. That's at $3.40. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. And thanks so much for joining us. See you soon.